My name is Takanori Okoboto, and thank you very much for listening to my performance. And by the way, if you find this video interesting, please subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe, you will also find a bell symbol next to the subscribe button. And if you click this, you can get notifications featuring new videos. And let's get started. This piece, Allegro Asai, has a very astounding simplicity, and only at the end of each section does it get a little complex. Why is this piece so simple? One reason is that the key signature itself is in C major, and another thing is that it modulates to key signatures which are commonly used in the Baroque period. First, the main theme is given in C major. And there are some places where it temporarily becomes F major or D minor, but it concludes in G major. Then the main theme is played again, although in G major. Then it becomes D minor and A minor, and then the climax is given in G major. And then it finally ends with C major. As you can see, all of these key signatures consists of only one sharp or flat or none, which is in fact simple both visually and orally. But as I mentioned, the unusual thing is the ending of each section. The conclusion in G major has a little touch of G minor. And consequently, the end of the piece also has a little bit of C minor in it. However, this technique is widely used by Bach, notably in keyboard pieces such as But there's more to it. The climax is in G major, which is not the original key signature. And I have never actually seen or played a piece like this. 
On top of that, the theme is not expressed here. Why did Bach do this? I do not know, but it is a wonderful piece. And those were the interesting points, and I believe that with those points in mind, you can perhaps see the piece in a different light. You can also experiment it by watching my performance again, and I would like to know how you felt, so feel free to write it down below in the comments section. I am looking forward to reading it. And that's the end of the video, and see you next time.